Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our third GIMP tutorial. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. Okay, today we'll continue with our GIMP tutorials and uh, we're going to start with the toolbox today. We're going to go over a few of these items here in the toolbox and what they do. But before we can do anything, the first thing we need to do is we need to open a new file or opening a image that has previously been created but what we're gonna do for the purposes of this tutorial is just open a new file so we're gonna go to file and a new you can also press control in to, to get a new file and you'll see that it prompts us to create a new image we can choose from a template where there are many options already um, here and you know you've got web banners uh, you've got all kinds of different things but I've got mine set to 1600 by 1200 for my defaults and we're just going to leave it there for today and click OK. Now you can see that we have a new canvas opened in the work area. This canvas is where we can draw or do any kind of uh, image editing here in GIMP and it's going to be the main workspace. On the toolbar you'll see many options here and some of these options require that something is already in the workspace. So the selection tools are it's going to be hard for me to show you how they work without having something already in the workspace so let's go over some of the tools that we can use that don't necessarily require something to be in the workspace first so what I'll talk about first here is the brush tool okay and upon selecting the brush tool we can go into our canvas here and draw whatever we want with the brush tool and you'll notice that pressure, pressure sensitivity is applied I have a uh, graphics tablet and with this graphics tablet there's a pen it's not necessary to have one but it really is nice and uh, you know I don't really think that it's easy to simulate this effect with a mouse but as you can see here if I just press lightly I get a very light um, brush stroke, but if I press down harder, you can see that it gets darker. And that's pretty handy for uh, for this. And you know, really, I prefer to use GIMP with a graphics tablet, but like I said, it's not absolutely necessary. All right, back to the toolbox. Below the toolbox, you'll see that I have these dockable dialogues here. And the one we're going to look at now is this one. Um, and this has to do with different tool attributes. It says paintbrush, and it shows a paintbrush, but this is not just about the paintbrush. It, it, it corresponds to whatever tool we're currently using. So if I switch to the pencil, you'll see that this switches to the pencil as well, or the smudge tool, this switches to the smudge tool also. Let's go back to the paintbrush and basically what this dockable dialog here does is we can adjust the different settings for a specific tool that is currently selected. Since we have the paintbrush currently selected, let's look at what we can do. Here it shows the brush and we can click on that and we can decide what type of brush stroke we like and this galaxy big is kinda kinda neat. It's good for like filling a background or something, but um, not to get too off track, that's one of the many brushes here. You have these sideways brushes that you could you could use for calligraphy or something. You know, I'm not good at calligraphy personally, but um, they're good for use with that. Um, let's go back to the regular round brush. Look here at the scale. We can adjust the scale of this here, and this can also be done with a hotkey and these type of hotkeys are totally customizable. You can go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and GIMP is very nice in, in the fact that you can configure keyboard sh shortcuts for nearly anything that this program does. So, since they're so customizable, I'm not going to necessarily go over what my specific hotkeys are. To, just for the sake of simplicity in these tutorials, the only time I'm going to talk about a hotkey is when it's something that's more or less going to be set and it's going to be the same for user to user. So um, here's how you just adjust the scale here with a slide bar. We can make it much smaller 
or we can make it much bigger. There's all these different brush dynamics. This is where you can turn on pressure sensitivity. Um, you can choose that the pressure is going to uh, adjust the opacity, the hardness, size, or the color. Let's go to the size and see what that does. See, the harder I press, let's go down a little. The harder I press, the darker it gets. And this is this is very adjustable. Not darker. I, I said darker. I mean the harder I press, the thicker the line gets. And it's very adjustable. I like to keep it on opacity personally. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this tutorial off about right here and we'll pick up here where we left off on the next tutorial and we'll continue to cover the different tool attributes for these different tools and the different tools that are available to us in the toolbox. See you in the next lesson.